right, so now that we got the most difficult room out of the way, we can start working on these other rooms. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to build these walls up three blocks. You know what? Actually build the walls up four blocks. So one, two, three, and four. There we go. And we're going to have to do the other one as well, four blocks. But for now, let's just do this room right here. The one close to that zany, crazy room over there. <laughs> so let's go ahead and build these walls up. All right, there we go. Now, once we have all our walls put up, we're going to take out some smooth quartz stairs. And we're also going to take out some smooth quartz slabs. And then right here next to the door that leads into that room, we're going to go ahead and place in three quartz stairs upside down like that. And do the same thing on this side as well. Three quartz stairs upside down like that. And then we're going to take out our slabs and place in three slabs on both sides like that. And then we're going to place in three more quartz stairs upside down right here. And you know what? I probably should have did the quartz stairs first because that was actually a little difficult to get in there. So <laughs> next time I do this, because there's going to be a couple of these, I'm going to definitely make sure I don't mess that one up. And then over here in the corner, we got to do the same thing. So three quartz stairs up and three quartz stairs up. And then slabs in the middle. Not like that. There we go. Just like that. And then off the side of this one, we're going to go ahead and come out a block and place in quartz stairs upside down. Again, we're going to make a lot of these shelves in here because this is like a little kitchen area kind of thing. And there's a lot of shelves. So come up three blocks here, three quartz slabs upside down. Go ahead and break these blocks and then place in your slabs in the middle. And same thing right here. We're going to come out a block. I'm just going to put up the blocks real quick like this just to make it easier on myself. So stair, stair, and stair. Same thing on this side. Stair, stair, and stair. Then we go ahead and break these blocks. And then place in our slabs in the middle. Just like that. And then right here, one block out, we're going to do yet again a, another shelf with our stairs. And then slabs. And then we're going to place in two lapis blocks right above it like that. Next up, take out white concrete. And we're going to place in three white concrete right here. So one, two, three. Skip a block. One, two, three. Take out your black carpet. Next up, take out some black carpet and place in three pieces of black carpet along it. And then take out paintings and place paintings right in front of it. I like to get this one. Where is it? Now, I like to use this painting right here for every single one of them. I'm not going to do that because it's going to take the video much longer for me to get there, <laughs> get this one painting. But I like using this one on all of them. Next up, we're going to come over a block here and place in two white concrete again with two black carpet. And then we're going to place in a picture frame off the front of it. Like, no, I don't think there's a picture frame on this one at all. Next up, we're going to take out some birch trap doors. I'm going to come over a block from here with birch trap doors. I'm going to place in three birch trap doors on top of each other, opening them all up. Then we're going to come to this side, take out some slabs and place in slabs between them. Take out your birch trap doors once again, place in three, and then go ahead and close them up. And that's going to be another shelf. And then right behind this shelf right here, we're going to make another one of these big ones. And it's going to be even to there. So we're just going to come up three blocks here three blocks here and then we're gonna go ahead and make another one of those big shelves there we go and then we're gonna put our slabs in the middle like that and then we're gonna break these blocks right here then right next to the shelf we're gonna take out our white concrete place in two and then place in our black carpet along it next turn this way and place in three more trap doors right on top of each other and go ahead and close them all take out your slabs <clears throat> Take out your slabs once again and place in three slabs. Then place in your three birch trap doors on this side and close them all up. Then we're going to do the same thing we did here, right here. So we're going to come out with two white concrete and then we're going to place in two black carpet right on top of it. And then I'm pretty sure I have picture frames, uh, paintings, I mean, in front of these ones. So, oh, that's going to be annoying. Pretty sure I do need a painting here. And you're going to need a painting right here as well. And like I said, try to get these ones it looks a lot better with these ones but i'm not going to do it just because i don't feel like sitting here for an extra 10 minutes trying to get a painting next we're going to do the same thing we did on this side with this big shelf we're just going to come up three blocks here one two three skip over one two three place in your shelf there we 
we go. And then right here in the middle, we're going to come down a block, placing in three blocks here and making another shelf right here. So one, two, and three. One, two, and three. And then we're going to place in our slabs. And go ahead and break these blocks right here. There we go. So now it looks something like this. Next up, we're going to come out two blocks from here. Actually, three blocks from here. One, two, three. And we're going to place in a staircase upside down. A staircase upside down here. And then place in a lapis block right on top of that. Next, come right between the middle of these two shelves. And we're going to come out three blocks. So one, two, three. Place a barrel right here facing up with an item frame on top of it. Hopefully, do I have item frames in here? Yes, I do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to place an item frame right on top of this barrel. Then right behind this barrel, we're going to place in three slabs upside down. One, two, three. Then we're going to take out our trap doors. One, two, three. Go ahead and close them all up. Same thing on this side. One, two, three. Close them all up. Just like that. And then right in the middle of these two, we're going to have two spruce trap, yeah, spruce doors. So let's go ahead and get a spruce door and place a spruce door here and a spruce door right here like that. Next up, we have to add in our Chica animatronic right here. Well, that's one block away from this door. So we're going to skip a block, place in an arm stand. Make sure you put the arms on its side if you are on console. And then we're going to go ahead and place in some leather. Now, I dyed mine yellow so it matches it. So just dye a leather tunic yellow, pants yellow and helmet yellow and then dye the boots uh orange sorry <laughs> been doing this for a while so now i'm kind of losing my 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 grip here there we go so we're going to do that and then we're going to do the same thing like we did the last time we're going to place a block right above it place in our arm stand make sure you put the arms down and then go ahead and place in a skeleton skull break it and let it fall into place and then right next to Chica right here, we're going to go ahead and place in a fridge. So we're going to come out one block, I mean, uh, over one block and then over three. One, two, three. Place in six white concrete blocks and two buttons. And that's going to be our fridge. And then last but not least for this room, we just have to add in our signs. So just take out some oak signs. And then over this door, we're going to go ahead and skip down one. And we're going to type out cheese. So skip down and then type in cheese, all caps. There we go. And then over this door, it's going to be pepperoni. So skip down one and then type out pepperoni. There we go. Cheese and pepperoni. And this room is now completely done. Next up is going to be the marionettes room. So before we do that, let's go ahead and bring our walls up. And then we're going to go ahead and get started on the props. So once you got all your walls up, we're going to go ahead and take out some dark oak wood stairs dark oak fences, string, and white carpet because we're going to be making more seating. So you can go through any of your other builds and quickly grab that. So right off the doors, we're going to come out one block and place in our staircase. And this is where our first table is going to go. So one, two, three, four. Same thing over here. One, two, three, four. Then we're going to take out our dark oak fences and place those off the front of each corner like that. Take out your string, place string along the whole thing down here as well and right here and then go ahead and place white carpet along the top of all of it and we're going to do that two more times on both sides of this one table there we go and then do the same thing here one two three four skip over one two three four fence posts String. And then after the string is going to be the white carpet. And on this side as well. Now that we got all our tables done, we're going to come to the right table and we're going to build a little carousel. So we're going to take out some red nether brick slabs, mine carts, and rails. And you know what? We're also are going to need iron bars. So where are the iron bars? There we go. Iron bars. So we're going to come right here to the right one and we're going to come up one block and place a slab here, 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 and here. 
Actually, you know, before we do that, I completely forgot. We're gonna come we're gonna place our first slab here, and then we're gonna place a rail. Make sure all your rails are facing the right way. So they're there, and this one is not facing the right way. So there we go. That's how your rails should look. And then we're gonna place in our slabs around the entire thing. Then we're gonna place a slab in the middle. Place in our mine carts. Then right above that, we're gonna go ahead and place in our iron bars right above these rails. So actually, the mine carts might get in the way, so get rid of the mine carts for now. Place in your iron bars first, and then place in the mine carts. There we go. And then we're gonna come up one more, I believe. So let's go ahead and place your iron bars all up like that. And then we're gonna place a slab cap right on top of it with our red nether brick slabs. Next up, just take out three different colored shulker boxes. Doesn't really matter. And we're gonna place three of them right back here. There we go. And that's our merry-go-round done. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and add in the marionette. So we'll just come right off the middle of this table, come all the way to the wall and just come out one block with a light blue concrete block. Then right above that, we're gonna place in an armor stand. And then if you have the arms, what I like to do with the arms is make sure they're both up like that. They should both be facing up just like that. Next up, just dye some leather black and then go ahead and place it on your armor stand, just like that. And then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna put a block right above it, like this. And then we're gonna place another armor stand. Make sure the arms are up, just like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and place a skeleton skull on top of it. So let's get out a skeleton skull. Place it on top of it. And then we can go ahead and break this block and let it fall into place. And there's our marionette done. And then right behind the marionette, we're gonna come one block over and break these two. One block over, break these two. Place a black block down here. Well, concrete block, concrete block. Place in our spruce doors. And then we're gonna place in some signs and we gotta write some stuff on here. So the first sign off to the right-hand side to the left is going to be celebrate. Sorry, I'm looking at my <laughs> looking at my phone because there's like three things I gotta type. So just type in celebrate. There we go. Enter. And then over the top one, let's see what's it gonna be on my phone. It is party here and then come play next to it. So party here. So press enter. Party here. And then I believe there's an exclamation mark. And then next to it, it's going to be come play. So come play exclamation mark. There we go. And then on the left hand side, I'm just going to quickly look again. So it's going to be not this way, danger and knowing. So the top one right here is going to be danger. Exclamation mark. Oop, not that. Exclamation mark. Then this one's going to be not this way. And then knowing, I believe. So there we go. That's going to be all of the signs for that room, for that door, I mean. And now here comes, a, oh yeah, then right next to this door, you need a lime shulker box like that. And now comes the worst part of this build, and I think a lot of you can agree with me. It's Balloon Boy. <laughs> so right over here, we're going to come down block and place in a red shulker box. A light blue shulker box right here. And then right here is where our Balloon Boy is going to be going. So we need an armor stand. And we're going to do the same thing we did with the marionette here. We're going to place it sideways, though, looking this way. Go ahead and put the arms up. And then we're going to go ahead and put a red tunic on it. And a blue leather cap. Then we're gonna come right above it with a block. Place in another armor stand. Make sure the arms are up. There we go. Place in our skeleton skull. Break it, let it fall into place. Go ahead and remove these. And then right underneath it, we have to have a block right underneath it. So make sure there's a block right underneath it. I I, I can't stress saying that enough. You don't wanna, if you built it up in the sky like me, you don't want it falling out of place. But now we're gonna break it and let it fall into place. Place in our white quartz block. Place in a piston facing towards that block. And then go ahead and push it with a piston. There we go. And now we gotta go ahead and refix our floor. 
just like that. So there's our balloon boy. And then right next to our balloon boy, we're going to put a sign. Thank God it covers his face a little bit. <laughs> and then we're going to type out, of course, balloons. There we go. And that should be this entire... No, wait, I forgot. We have to put our presents on top of the table. And then for one final touch, we just got to put our presents on top of the table. You can use whatever colors you like. So I'm just going to go ahead and interchange these colors. No, I don't want two of the same color. Go. And over here, we can go yellow, pink, and let's just do blue. Yellow, pink, and blue. And then just place some item frames on top of them. And there we go. That room is now completely done. So we got the hardest part out of the way. <laughs> well, that was definitely the hardest part right there. But this room is ginormous. Now comes a pretty weird part. We're going to be making an exact replica of this room that was closed off right there over there. Because now what's going to happen is that this door is going to be open, letting us through the door we have to get through. So basically what I did was I just built the same room over there. So we're going to come over here and then going through the, you know, celebrate party here, come play door. We're going to come out a block. So just come out one block first. And then we're going to build an 11 by 10 spacing right here. So let me get rid of this block just so you could see exactly where we're going. So we got to go that way 10 and that way 11 with our quartz, our block of quartz. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. And then we're going to go that way 10. So one, two three four five six seven eight nine ten and let's go ahead and connect these two together and fill in the entire floor so there we go bring this over here and then connect it right over here like that there we go and now we're going to take out our spruce wood planks and bring that around the entire thing And then come up four blocks. So one, two, three, and four. And then just do that around the entire thing. Now, just like the other room, that's exactly the same. We just got to make sure that the hallway is three wide. So there we go. This side is three wide. And then we just got to make sure this side is three wide as well. There we go. Three wide and three wide. And now we can go ahead and bring these blocks up. Glass panes are going to be going here, so you can go ahead and skip that. And then just place in glass panes right here. And then we'll go ahead and fill in this side as well. And then there's going to be a door open right here, so we can leave that open like that. And then just fill in right here with our planks. Now, just giving a heads up, normally I say, you know, place the presents whichever way you want, but make sure it looks exactly like this room over here because it's it's that's what it's supposed to be an exact replica because that's what it's supposed to be it's supposed to be an exact replica just that door is now open now to let us through this door right here so just make sure you know red blue green or whatever color you used here make sure you do it the exact same way <laughs> i mean you don't have to but it would be cooler if it's that way so let's go ahead and place in our fences here let's place in our string There we go. Place in our white carpet. Skip a few blocks because we've got to put in our presents. So mine's going to be red, blue, and green, just like that. Then we're going to place in our stairs. Then we're going to skip over a block. And right here is where those pistons are going to be going with that blue carpet. So let's get out some pistons and blue carpet. So get out your pistons and blue carpet. And then go ahead and place in a block of redstone. And then we're going to extend those pistons with our blue carpet on top of it. Next up in this corner, we're going to place in an item frame. And then right here is where our door is going to be going. So let's go ahead and place in our door right here. And then over here, like I said, you kind of want to get the same exact paintings as you did over there. I'm not going to do it on mine because I don't want to sit here for eight hours trying to get the exact painting I need. So I'm just going to go ahead real quick and place them in. I literally think I got them backwards. I think I had these two paintings. The middle one's definitely wrong. But you might want to like take a picture with your phone and then go ahead and make sure you get the exact same paintings 
just so everything is symmetrical. Same thing over with over here too. There's that two high painting next to this door. Hey, I got the right one. And then there's that one painting right here. That is definitely not the right one. I, you know what? I think I got the right one too. I think that's the one I used over there. And then that yellow concrete block over here. And then over here, we're going to have that spruce door. But instead of the spruce door leading to something on this side, we're just going to get some black concrete and close up this door. This door no longer goes anywhere. This is the door to get into the next area. So is that... No, actually, I think I need to do that armor stand right here. So we're going to need an armor stand and a leather tunic. So leather tunic, a leather cap. We're also going to need a skeleton skull. Do, 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 skeleton skull. And we're going to need an armor stand and, of course, a block. So right here, we're going to place in one block over facing towards the door. We're going to go ahead and put his arms on its side too. Place in our leather cap. Oh, no, not like... I'm going to replace it. There we go. Put his arms on his side. Leather cap, leather tunic. Block above it. Armor stand. Skeleton skull. Make sure the arms are on the side. Break it. And there we have it. So there is an exact replica of the other room right over here. See, I did. I did have the two of them. They're just switched and the, the one in the middle is wrong. And no, I got that one wrong, but I got that one right. Nice, nice. Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it, I don't think I ever connected these two rooms together. Did I ever connect these two? Nope, I didn't. All right. <laughs> That would have stunk. So right here is, is how you're going to get in this room. In this corner, break out these two blocks. I'm sorry. I completely forgot to connect those two together. And then we're just going to bring, uh, bring a line of black concrete over to this door right here in the back. Where we come through this little purple room right here. And we're just going to connect these two together. And then, of course, you know, throw any light in there that you want. I'm not going to put any ceilings on this. You could put all the ceilings in. Or if you want to leave it open, go right ahead. But we're going to go ahead and just... Fill this area in black concrete up to here, just like that. And there we go. I completely forgot to put away to get into this room over here. That would have stunk because then you would have got all the way over there and then not been able to go through any of the other map. So there we go. All right, so what we're going to do now is actually build the last room right here, which will then connect to this one. But let's build this room first and then connect them. It'll just make it a little bit easier. So we're going to come back here from where we started at the beginning. We're going to remove these buttons. I don't know why I've replaced those there. And we're going to place in spruce wood slabs like that. Next up, we're going to come out four blocks from the side of here with white. So one, two, three, four, just like that. And do the same thing on this side. Come out four. One, two, three, four. And then from out here, we're going to come out seven blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do the same thing on this side. Come out seven blocks. One, two two three four five six seven so you should have a uh five by i forget what spacing this is let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven it should be a five by eleven spacing i'm pretty sure uh actually i'm 100 percent sure <laughs> it's definitely a five by eleven spacing in here i just want to make sure we get everything right down to the t actually i might need to change up the wall right here so let's just take out our gray concrete because right here is where our checkerboard pattern is going to be going. So we're going to skip two blocks down and place in our gray concrete right here. And we're going to go ahead and place it down here as well. And we're just going to connect these together. Just follow right along the top where you place the white. There we go. And same thing on this side. Just come out with your gray concrete. Gray concrete. So like I said, you should have a five. One, one, two, three, four, five. By 11 spacing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Next, you're going to take out your spruce wood planks. And we're going to fill in the entire floor with spruce wood planks. This is just that little backstage area from uh, when you win the game and you're at the end. And then you eat the cake and then go up on stage. Okay, why isn't that working? There we go. <laughs> it's like, why isn't this working? There we go. Okay, there we go. And now we're going to go ahead and put in our checkerboard pattern. So if you want to line it up with that one back over there, you can. It doesn't really matter because it's not really connected to anything else. Oops, I'm using the wrong blocks. There we go. And that was completely wrong. Stop. <laughs> I keep messing up. Oh, that's why I'm getting screwed up because I have to... <laughs> Click it first before I switch the block out. And did I just put the wrong ones again? I keep messing it up. So 
So there we go. I just went ahead and put in my checkerboard pattern for this room. And now we can go ahead and connect these two rooms together. Now, the reason why I wanted to wait to connect the rooms together. So right when we come out, uh, come off the stage right here, come to this side and then break these two blocks out. And we're going to go ahead and place in our spruce door right here. Now, the reason why I wanted to wait to put this in, because we got to make a crawling mechanic for console edition, because on PC, you can go ahead and, you know, just use a trap door and crawl on here. We need to use a bucket of water. So where is water bucket? There it is. Okay. We need a water bucket and we're also going to need a sign as well. So what we're going to do is just come out here and connect these together with some, you can use whatever color here, but I like using gray because, you know, kind of reminds me of a vent. Most vents are like a gray color. <laughs> so I'm just going to use gray concrete and connect these two together like this. And then we're going to come up one more. Just like that. There we go. And then basically what we're going to do now is place in blocks right here. So as you can see, there's the vent. And then we're just going to place water. I mean, a uh, sign right here first. Sorry. Sign. And then place in your water like that. So now we can go ahead and crawl through that. So if we go through the water, we can now crawl and come out on this side. Same thing. Put a sign on this side. Place in your water. And then we can go ahead and cap this off so we can't see up here. There we go. And that's going to be our little crawling mechanic. So we go in and now crawl through the vent. Perfect. All right. So now we get started on some of the props in this room. So what I want you to do is come right here to where our curtain kind of thing is. And we're going to come out two blocks. One, two. Break this block and place a redstone block right down here. Place a piston facing upwards. It should extend up. And we're going to place an iron frame on top of that. So it kind of looks like pizza i guess <laughs> and then we're gonna skip over three blocks from here one two three do the same thing come down a block oops i did not want to break that though uh i don't know what to get rid of you know i'll just get rid of the piston for now so there <laughs> redstone block redstone block get a piston face it upwards let it extend and place your cake right on top of it next take out a blue concrete block and place it in that corner and you know what? We're going to need some paintings for this as well. So I'm going to get a painting out real quick. And then right here, we're going to need a one by two painting. Well, actually right here on this wall. So place a block here, place your painting and get a one by two painting. And then over here in this corner, we're just going to need a bunch of different colors for all the different colored presents that are in here. So I like to just get really bright ones. So let's go with pink, blue, red, orange, yellow, green, all those good stuff. So we're going to go ahead and just make a little tower of, so it doesn't really matter how you put it down with the color. So I'm going to go pink here, blue, red, orange. Actually, that might be too far. Yeah. Yeah. It's just out to here. And then we're going to go ahead and just do yellow, green. Uh, let's do another red one here, I guess. And then let's go ahead and put a, hmm, another pink one here. That's fine. And then, you know, what? let's put one more up top. There we go. So it's just a bunch of colored presents right here. And then over here in this corner next to that door is going to be a, a little bit of seating. So we're going to place in a fence post, brown carpet, then take out another brick stairs and place it in like that. So just a little bit of seating right there in that corner. And then right here is going to be a one high painting. So let me get the paintings out once again. It's going to be a little one high painting right here. There we go. And then I'm pretty sure I have scaffolding and a black carpet in here. So scaffolding and we're also going to need a black carpet. I believe I put it right here. Yeah, I think I put it right here in front of the door when you come out. Next up, we can go ahead and put the Chica and Bonnie suits that are over here in. So let's go ahead and change out the floor right here to black concrete. Then we're going to need a armor stand. So armor stand, armor stand. There they are on armor stand. And then you're going to have to dye some of your leather stuff. So oh, come on, armor stand. Don't do that to me. <laughs> you're going to need, of course, yellow and then orange feet for Chica. And then all blue for Bonnie. So it's going to place in our armor stands. So Bonnie's going to be on the left. And then Chica is going to be on the right. There we go. And then over here in the back, I just filled this entire wall with paintings. So let's go ahead and place this in first. And then just go ahead and place in a bunch of paintings. So I like to do two like that. And then like that. Perfect. It doesn't really matter. You can go ahead with more colorful ones as well. Uh, I went for a more colorful... Re I went for a more color. <laughs> I'm getting tongue twisted for some. I went for a more colorful route with my other one. <laughs> I got so tongue twisted there. And then right in between them, we're going to place in a skeleton skull. And then right next to Bonnie over here, we're going to place a barrel facing up. Place a red concrete block next to it. 
place a button off the side. Place an item frame on top of that red concrete block with a black concrete block inside of it. Then right in front of Bonnie, we're going to go ahead and place in an item frame with a bone inside of it. And that's it, guys. You are completely done with the whole first part of Help Wanted or Five Nights at Freddy's VR. So we have the whole starting area. And then we have the whole end game area for it as well. That's all the new stuff that came. Like, I know there's all the mini games, but this is like the main new stuff that came with this game. And then, of course, like, you know, in the future, I will definitely put in, you know, Five Nights at Freddy's 1 that hooks to it. Five Nights at Freddy's 2 that hooks to it. Five Nights at Freddy's 3. I mean, if you want to watch my old videos too, you can easily look it up and then just add them in. The only thing different I did with the uh, all three of these is I made them a little bit smaller. Just so it can fit in here. Because the other ones are a tiny bit bigger than these ones. That's all I really did with Five Nights at Freddy's 1, 2, and 3. And then, of course, these are all the mini games over here. And there's a couple other, a couple other little mini games scattered throughout this entire area. And then, of course, when you want to put the ceilings in, all I used was pretty much gray concrete for all the ceilings, except for over here. These ceilings are black concrete, but all of the ceilings for the entire thing, as you can see over there, are just gray concrete, and then these ones are just black concrete. Oh, you know what? I completely forgot to block this door off. <laughs> if someone walked through that door, they would have fell right off and died. <laughs> all right, guys, so I'm going to end the first part of this tutorial here. Like I said, I just wanted to get the main area and the ending in. Like I said, of course, I will do in the future, you know, the other parts of it. But this is like the main area. And of course, if you want to, you can just add in the other parts on your own if you watch my other videos. But I will definitely do it in the future. So, guys, if you enjoyed this part of the series of <laughs> the Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted VR game, make sure to leave it a like. Subscribe if you have not. Leave a comment. And also, I guess the more likes these get, the faster I'll do the other parts as well. But this took a very long time, probably like five hours to record. <laughs> I got to do a lot of editing. All right, guys. Peace.